Because of how Tesla designs its cars, how it designed its cars from the get-go, any Tesla since the original Model S can receive over-the-air software updates designed to improve existing features, fix any bugs that might have slipped into the vehicle's previous operating system iteration, and add new features and tricks that the car previously didn't have. Over the years, these have included adding much-requested features like choosing between creep-on, accelerator lift-off or not, massive improvements to the car's onboard route planning and software prediction algorithms, and of course, turning on autopilot functionality in hardware-equipped cars. Autopilot, Tesla's advanced driver assistance system, has gradually been growing in its complexity, taking on more and more of the driving duties while requiring less and less input from the driver. Yet, while Tesla has itself demonstrated that Autopilot software can, in ideal situations, drive the car on its own with little to no human interaction, it's still technically considered an active safety feature, a driver assistance feature, rather than a full, hands-off, fully autonomous, level five system as defined by the Society of Automotive Engineers. Ultimately, that is what Tesla is aiming for, full level five hands-off operation in which the car can reliably drive itself without a human at the wheel or even in the car. That level of operation is in fact required for Tesla to execute its plan of turning customers' cars into robo-taxis which can earn their owners money driving people around during periods where they would traditionally be parked up. And in Tesla's latest version of its vehicle operating system, version 10, that reality is closer than it's ever been before, with Tesla rolling out what it's calling Advanced Summon. It's a feature that it previewed more than four years ago, but is finally here. Advanced Summon takes Tesla's previous Summon feature, which let you back your car into or out of a parking space from outside the vehicle using the Tesla smartphone app, and it dials it up to 11. Rather than simply pull the car out of a tight parking space or slot in between two vehicles where you'd ordinarily never have a chance of squeezing out the door once parked, it makes it possible to summon your Tesla Model S, Model X or Model 3 from the other side of a parking lot. And on paper, it's a fantastic idea. I mean, who doesn't want to have their car meet them on a rainy day at the door of the store rather than having to dash across the parking lot and get all wet? And since the feature works, as long as you're less than 200 feet from your car and within line of sight, it's pretty flexible as to what it can do. But in reality, for now at least, it's mind-blowingly terrifying. And it's also getting irresponsible owners into problems, which I think will ultimately end badly. So far, we've seen cars hit things or get into accidents while using advanced auto summon, hold up traffic in parking lots, and just generally cause mayhem because their owners aren't using the feature properly. In one case, someone even tried to get their car to cross a relatively busy shopping mall street, causing the oncoming car to slam on its brakes at the last minute. In every single case, it seems to be an issue not with a car per se or the software, which Tesla cautions people should only be used in private parking lots or private driveways. But it's the problem with the person doing the summoning and their misinterpretation of what is okay and what is not. Before I go on, let's just clear up something. I love the idea of autopilot. I love the idea of having our cars offer to drive us in the future. And I love the idea that autopilot is like a guardian angel on our shoulders while we drive to make sure that we stay safe. I even like the idea of a robotic valet system. Right now, however, I believe that Tesla is doing no favors to itself in activating the software in its current form. Instead, I think it could actually hurt Tesla in the long term. And here's why. First up, there's no legal framework set out onto which such modes of operation can be pinned. Tesla does reiterate some boilerplate stuff about autopilot summon mode still being the ultimate responsibility of the driver, cautioning that the car may not see all obstacles and thus the driver should remain within line of sight at all times. But while that's fine, and I assume covers Tesla against any legal actions should anything go wrong, it doesn't take into consideration other people existing in the same space at the same time as the Tesla and its owner. 
unless I'm mistaken, there's yet to be a single country in the world which has set down and codified exactly what expectations exist of a car or of its owner when operating in this kind of remote mode, because it's never existed before. And that means Tesla and its owners are beta testing this new super cool feature in a world that I don't think is ready for it. Second, as the videos you'll see everywhere from Twitter and Facebook to YouTube seem to demonstrate, Autopilot Summon, while a brilliant feature, is not infallible. It's only as safe as the person using it, and right now, some of the people using it are taking risks as many do with autopilot self-steer and other autopilot functions. Without the first thing in place, rules and regulations on how to use such a feature, it's very much a wild west out there. And that's bad for other road users, bad for Tesla's reputation, and it's also pretty risky. Right now, this publicity is probably still helping Tesla, but if that turns to negative publicity from someone abusing the system without any formal framework to determine who is at fault, and someone gets seriously hurt, things could get nasty. It's fantastic that Tesla believes its technology is ready to be used in the real world, and it is great to see so many people responsibly using it. But as is often the case, those irresponsible ones could ultimately delay the proliferation of this technology moving forwards, and that could hinder, not help, improve safety on our roads. Legislators are notoriously risk-averse, and the current approach to autopilot summon could cause knee-jerk reactions that are ultimately unwanted. Is there a way around it? Well, there is, a pretty simple one at least. Tesla has the ability to turn off autopilot summon for customers it knows are misusing it. While all passive safety systems should always remain active, i.e. allowing the car to react in a dangerous situation to save the car and its passengers, I can see threatening users with deactivation of systems that are being abused as a pretty good way to police this without spoiling it for everyone else who's using it responsibly. It's a safety feature, not a toy. Elon, you have the power. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Send us a couple of dollars our way every month through Patreon. Send us a coffee with Kofi, or visit our swag store and buy some merch. I'll be back soon for more content for you all to enjoy. But until then, keep evolving.